be everyone, welcome back to our Knowing Bipolar Disorder video series brought to you by Failure and Community Mental Health Department. I'm Wingyu and today we will be continuing our series with 3 tips on how we can lower our risk of getting bipolar disorder and 3 self-help ways for people with bipolar disorder to better take care of themselves. Tip number 1. Create a routine and explore healthy ways to relax and manage your stress. Having a regular routine for sleeping, eating and physical activities can help to balance your mood. Activities like yoga, tai chi, meditation or other relaxation techniques like mindfulness can be helpful. Explore and find something you enjoy. If you have any medical conditions, remember to check with your doctor before starting exercise programs. Tip number 2. Learn about bipolar disorder. Having knowledge about the condition can empower you and motivate you to stick to your healthy lifestyle and recognize any abnormal mood changes early. Educate the people around you about mental health so that we can all look out for one another. Tip number 3. Quit alcohol and drugs. Abuse of drugs and alcohol may also cause someone who was previously mentally healthy to develop bipolar disorder. This addiction can also worsen a person's bipolar symptoms. People with bipolar disorder may then turn to drugs and alcohol to handle their stresses. To break away from this vicious cycle, the important first step would be to quit drinking or taking drugs. Now let's move on to the 3 self-help ways for people with bipolar disorder to better take care of themselves. Self-help number 1. Consult a doctor before taking other medicine. If someone with bipolar disorder is not feeling well and needs to take medicine for other health conditions, it is best to first check with the doctor. Other medications may interfere with the medications that they are taking for bipolar disorder. Self-help number 2. Join a support group. This is for people with bipolar disorder to connect with others who are also facing similar challenges and to share their experiences. It is important for them to know that they are not alone in this. Self-help number 3. Keep a mood chart. Recording down their daily moods, treatment, sleep, activities and feelings may help to identify the triggers of their manic and depressive episodes. This can also be helpful to their doctors in assessing the effectiveness of the treatment or if the treatment needs to be adjusted. Today we have explained 3 preventive tips and 3 self-help ways and this is the last episode of the series. We thank you for supporting our Knowing Bipolar Disorder video series by Fayre at Community Mental Health Department. Do check out our other series on different mental health conditions as well. I'm Yu and hope to see you again next time.